Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. First off, before I do anything and move on with the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. One thousand subscribers on YouTube. Holy fuck! So we're at a thousand and ten to be exact and we just hit a thousand this morning and you do not know <laughs> how happy I was when I hit it because it came a lot faster than what I expected. And I guess the biggest thing for me is I'm just having fun with it. Right? I'm just have, having fun with this mod, these mods. I know a little bit about modding and I'm sharing that with the world and sharing that with you guys. Hopefully, um, you know, I help you guys out. And it seems like I am for the most part. You know, there's things I can't fix. There's I can't fix everything, but you know, I, you know for the most part, it seems like you guys are enjoying these mods and I'll keep pumping them out. Um, but again, I just want to say thank you guys so much. And uh, I'm a little speechless because it seems like I just hit 100 subs the other day, and now we're at 1,000, so. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, so today, guys, I'm gonna be starting, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Scriptook 5 and Scripta.net, right? These two mods are essential for modding GTA 5. If you do not have these installed, your game, well, your mods will not run, they will not work. And I've had a lot of questions, right? Especially with that menu mod that I showed you guys. Uh, I noticed a lot of you guys don't have Scriptook 5. Or it might not really be too sure how to install it. So I just thought I'd just get this out the way. And this should work for, today is December 30th, right? It should work for 2021. Nothing should change. And one thing you should be aware of, guys, is that these update every once in a while. So every time there's a new GTA 5 update, you need to update Scriptic 5. And the problem with that is it might take a couple days. So let's say GTA 5 updates and there is no Scriptic update your game will crash and your game will not run unless until there's a new scriptic 5 update and as you can see from right here released this was released on 18th of december of 2020 that was i think the last update was maybe the 15th or something like that and then this came three days later so for those three days you couldn't really mod unless you you know downgrade your game but that's a completely different that's for a completely different video um but just be aware of that so every time there is a an update you do need to update your scriptic 5 as well so but anyways, so I'll link this in the description, guys. And then what you what you're uh, gonna want to do here is just uh, so once you're here, right? There's gonna be a little download, a uh, little link. Click on this, and then it should start to download. All right, and then that's Scriptic Five. So I'm gonna also download Scriptic.net, and I'll link this in the description, guys. So this Scriptic.net version 3.1.0, and this is the newest version. And what you're gonna do here, um, once you're here, scroll down. All right, you're gonna see a bunch of little dots and stuff and a bunch of other stuff. You could ignore all this But if you start to scroll down, you'll see three links. You'll see a scripted.net.zip You'll see a source code and you'll see another source code So what you want to do is just download the first one It'll look it'll be right next to this little box a little cube and click on that and then it should automatically download um, You could discard this. You know, I got a little error, but we, we're good. We should be fine. So this oops Don't discard. Sorry yeah open it up or right here keep so get if in case you do get this i actually never got this before but just click on this little arrow and hit keep there you go so now we got script took five and script.net all right there's that all right as you can see guys you might have a little pink slip right here little pink little thing that means the mod, the mod is not extracted and you need to extract your mod if your mod is not extracted it will not work the way you do extract it is to use if you go to the right you'll see a little extract all little folder button and it should be towards the right click on this and then you can leave you should get this little window you can just leave this the same and then make sure this checkbox is checked so when you extract it'll open up a new window with the extracted version of this mod so I'm gonna hit extract and then see you can see so I got a new window and it's the exact same thing as this one but you can see this one is extracted and this one is not the way I know this one is extracted is because it doesn't give me the option to extract it anymore so this one does so you can see extract all this one has no extract all so what I'm gonna do now is get discard the one that's not extracted boom because I have it right here all right you're gonna do the same thing with scriptic 5 or scriptic V whatever you want to call it Again, this is not extracted. The way I know that is because there's an extract all button here and there's a little extract pink thing right here. Click on this extract all on the right. And then again, leave the location the same. Make sure this checkbox is checked so it'll pop up the window and you don't gotta go looking for it. Click extract. 
all right same thing we got a new window with the exact same files this one is extracted i know this is extracted because i'm not given the option to extract it anymore as you can see here you are here you're not so i'm going to discard the version that's not extracted there we go all right and uh so now i have both of these mods they're both extracted and now i'm going to show you where they go so go ahead and open up open iv guys i do have a tutorial on how to install this on my channel so if you guys don't have it um, feel free to take a look at it i'll actually put a little card up here so i'm gonna go to windows and then what i'm gonna do now is it'll open up pretty much the main directory of gta 5 so the very root of gta 5 so this is pretty much the first thing you should see and this is exactly where the mods are gonna go all right so let's start with scripting.net so you're gonna highlight all of these except the license and except the readme. So all, it's pretty much the bottom ones below readme. I'm not sure the order, but just don't highlight these two text documents. All right, text document, text document. You don't want those. You don't want, you don't want these two. Just want scripted.net. Pretty much anything with scripted.net. So .net ASI, .net, .net two and three. And what you're gonna wanna do here now is go back to OpenIV, hit edit mode, so you can drag and drop. Hit yes and then drag and drop right in here. Just click on any empty space, really. And you don't want it to go in any folder, just any empty space, because you want it to go directly in here. So I just dropped it and it should be somewhere here. So I don't think anything changed because I already had it, but see scripted.net two, three, and they kind of all scatter all over the place depending on their file type. So you know, there's different file types and they kind of just go where they belong. And then, all right, so that's done. Scripted.net is installed, and that is pretty much used for a lot of mods. A lot of mods require Scripted.net, so boom, we can exit that out. That is done. And now, Scripted 5. This is a must. This is a need. This is what you need. So, go back to the folder, right? This is extracted, and go to open up bin. All right, you're getting some more files, right? So, you're probably gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna drag and drop, but I don't want the native trainer this is since i already have menu they're kind of the same thing they're both trainers i don't want that i just want the script v.dol and the dim put so the way I'm, what i'm going to do now is script five drag and drop anywhere again anywhere you don't want it to go in any folder just drag it and it'll automatically go to its uh its location and it should be here somewhere so script five let's go look for it where is it and what is it? It's a DOL, so it should be here. Scriptic 5, there it is. All right. And I'm not gonna transfer this one, but if you do want it, feel free, but we're not doing that one. And then the dim put eight, just drag and drop. Any empty space again, no, you don't want it to go inside any folders. It's no empty space. And it'll go inside its location, its area, all right? And then that's pretty much it. I think it's towards the top, then put, where is it? The, it is a DOL, so it's gonna be here somewhere. There it is. And that's pretty much it guys that is how you install scripted 5 and scripted.net and you should be ready to mod as long as you have menu and as long as you go to tools and pretty much these are installed all of these so i mean you don't really need open camera but as long as these two are good you're good so that's pretty much it guys hopefully that helps you guys out hopefully that clears it up if you guys have any questions let me know um but yeah just drag and drop in the main directory you guys should be good to go so hopefully it helps and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right take care